Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer. This time we're continuing with Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and we are playing the legendary or rather unfair highest difficulty I blind playthrough. Unexplored. Time for us to continue our exploration here. We still need to talk to a lot of uh, guys and it seems that every second uh, thing that we're running into is causing us issues. Lots of fights, lots of ambushes, lots and lots of everything. Plus a lot of uh, these quote-unquote goods that are li laying around. Pamphlets of heresy. What a shameful failure. Okay, for whatever reason we can't even use our machine ride sets here. Operation successful. Okay, now that what does that mean? Does that mean we're getting loot? Strange. Sometimes there, uh, there are machines that you can use. In this case, the machine spirit here. I think that just opened up the goods. All allies in a two-cell radius around the wearer gain a 40% bonus to resolve from the unyielding beacon uh, ability. That's a good question. Uh, isn't that sins hidden in the you? heart turn all to decay. No. Does something trouble beacon. you, Lord Captain? What was that again? Rebel of Light. My ascension. Did I mention that my whispers tell me jokes? Hmm. <laughs> jokes that once said aloud make your eyes bleed and blood curdle. Talk about I still don't know what the unyielding beacon ability is. Must be something that I don't possess yet. Powers unseen uncover my path. Punish the enemies of humanity, guys. The world will bow. All right, let's open a bit more. A bit more stuff. Lots of citizens that are just drunk. The world trembles beneath my feet. Or not doing anything productive. Empyrean guides my gaze. All right, look at that. We got ourselves a great sword. I think that's the same that we already have, and we got a commander's monocle. Whenever the ally is under the effect of void of co uh, voice of command, makes an attack during an extra turn. This damage deals extra bonus damage. Do you require an audience? So for starters, that sword is even a little bit better than the serrated greatsword because it has a higher armor penetration. Nice.
Uh, and I think this is for the commander. Whenever an ally is under the effect of the voice of command, they deal more damage, and we need fellowship in order to actually deal more damage. And she had voice of command, right? Bring it down. Voice of command. Fantastic. I've read about this. Numerous wounds indicate that a particularly brutal murder up here. Embrace true power. All right. Getting some extra bonus loot for correct skill checks. Doesn't still doesn't solve our problem that most of the fights were ultra, uh, ultra hard. It says here that there is a cache in front of the lantern, which means there should Let's be one here. The opportunity. We're just following a couple of rumors about where potential loot is supposed to be. Yeah, apparently here, but powers sure. unseen. Uncover my path. Uh, because Balakan trades Xeno artifacts on footfall. The fairly blatantly at that. And the Ordo Xenos is in no hurry to rectify the situation. The world trembles beneath. Good, let's talk to this guy. Carnival Barker, your lordship, what an incredible honor. Uh, this humble collection of uh, is hardly going to impress you a rogue trader conquering the stars but at its best it's the one in, uh, it's the best one in found um, in footfall I will buy all of the captives of off of you Ugh. profit factor lost <laughs> Not good. Well, there is still the first mate here. I wonder if we're going to get our profit factor back at Embrace some point. True power. Ruinous favor prevails. All right. First mate, Dagon. Sound. This looks a lot like a problem uh, place. The Loham voice is quiet and a dozen of gazes uh, stare at you. Greetings, you must be Lord Van Valesius. Your Lordship, I heard about your arrival on Footfall, of course. About Lady, Lady Theora's passing. Theodora's passing. But I wasn't told you're not on the list. But that's not a problem, of course. Please come in. Uh, chaplain is about to begin. We've been waiting for one more attendee to uh, arrive. Fidelio. Without Fidelio, it's all been nothing. You catch a sign of something odd. Before stepping away from you, a man gestures subtly by, to a nearby servitor, giving some uh, kind of uh, command. The servitor quickly removes the bottles of Amasek, um, from the table. The gathering you found yourself seems refined and respectable at first glance. The decorations um, and the attendees close speak for wealth and do so in a location which isn't far from uh, the Liege's residence. 
But you notice that most of the gather, uh, gathering are rather of imposing physique. Many of them have scars and military-grade implants. Several of the guests look like they are covering the exit. A few are clearly carrying concealed weapons. What is this place and what's going on here? Uh, Idaria, I know nothing about this place, but I can feel something is in the works. I sense danger and opportunity. I wonder who Fidelius is and why they can start the proceedings until he or she appears. Judging by uh, the way that uh, follows the list of talking about this individual, it's something very important, but not a name that I've heard before. All right, let's involve ourselves. Clerical, oh, what a terrible, sorrowful day. We pay our, uh, pay our respects to the life and soul of the Footfall Society. A loyal servant of the Empyrean, a generous benefactor, a spirit, no expenses to keep the fire of the faith burning, and an example to all future generations. The most noble and unre uh, unforgettable Master Bellerio. This loss. So let us offer a prayer to the Emperor for the uh, repose of Master Bellaro's souls and the prosper uh, prosperity of uh, his heirs. I now pass over to you the most revered chaplain. And here you are, you vultures. Let's offer a prayer then. But if you think that the Emperor does not see into your vile souls, you're solely mistaken. I wasn't referring to, uh, to our esteemed guest, but to the rest of you. I know you all too well. So go ahead, pray for uh, Bellardo's soul. Soon the flames will take him. A fitting end for a life like his. May the Emperor um, keep his soul. Oh, wow. Oh wow! Over. People definitely wanted uh, him dead. The drink has been poisoned. Okay. Someone, possibly Fidelio, left the stage note on the Book of Remembrance. The word "repentance" could have some connection with the Fidelio mystery. Intriguing. The Emperor sets my path. Never doubt me. The world will bow. Hmm. Let's take a look at him, shall we? Whoever prepared the body of the grey haired man lying in the coffin, they did a good job even in death. He looks, looks majestic. It'll be this is quite the meeting. If it can be called as such under the circumstances, take a good good look at this uh, uh, deceased. The implants left on the deceased body speak for his high standing, expensive tech, typically extracted from the dead, uh, and only the most prominent and wealthy avoid the fate upon death. Abelath, do you know the man? Do I? I would tell you about this man, but the words I'd used would be improper for a funeral. This, your lordship. Is Jerrican Dens known back in the days as the most notorious pirate? Their nickname was Jerrican for his habit of having a jug or two on hand. He did like uh, burning things, so yes, he was a menace back then. Well, well, there was a time when the sight of Jerrican in a coffin would have been enough to make me dance quite literally. By the throne I would have dan uh, danced a jig on the spot, but now, I don't know, no more jumping into the warp uh, right from under Cruz's nose, eh, you old beast. You wouldn't have thought I'd be at your funeral. Folks on footfall are known for, uh, to turn a blind eye on many things, but the locals aren't as unscrupulous as to honor pirate uh, scum with a few paces away from the Liege residence. First make Dagon, who welcomed you at the entrance is shifting from foot to foot, 
keeps glancing around with a gloomy expression. This is an honor, your lordship, such an honor. Could you spare a minute of your time? Uh, you never introduced yourself. He said, I'm Dagen Othiu. I was the first mate on Den's ship, I mean, Master Bellaro. Given this deceased fur further occupation, I have a good idea what uh, a role you played under his command. They used to call me Torch. He's Jerrican. I'm Torch. Those were the days. How did he die? Badly. He went downhill real fast. Just a year ago, he was still living it up, storming the slums of an street, shooting riffraffs and mutants. And then, all of a sudden, he was done. His old wounds have caught up on him, and he had plenty of those. Both from the old days and the more recent ones. Like somebody tried to bump him off 20 years ago, I think. All right, what do you want to speak about? Here's the thing, your lordship. I give it to you straight. I don't know how to talk to lofty folk. Well, Dens, that's Bellaro. Old friend of boss died. And all uh, he had, and he had, uh, and he had a lot, mind you. He gave it to Fidelio. That's kind of rude of him. That's not the way to uh, treat your friends. I get it. He left his useless son high and dry. And a good uh, thing too, but an old friend. So I'm thinking, maybe you can step in and set things right, intervene. In the matter of the inherents, or I don't know. Why did he leave you, leave you out of his will? Old age, you know, he wasn't the same anymore. It was just too unfair to fly with him for 10 years. And then get nothing for it. What do you want from me? You're a distinguished sword. You can muscle in this. You can uh, talk to Chaplin and ask about his will. Or maybe you can find Fidelio and have him talk uh, to more trouble than it's worth if you ask me. And trust me, Old Dagen can uh, be a service to you if you need anything. I'll consider it. All right, let's talk to Clerk. Or to the Chaplain. The chaplain leaves an even stronger impression a tall, burly man whose face and hands bear numerous scars. May St. Drysus protect you from illness and misfortune. Did you know Dens? I mean, Master Bellaro? No. And I will consider this a stroke of good luck. Dens would have shoved someone if you were standing at his funeral. Um. So, Bellaro has left all of his worldly possessions to a certain Fidelio. I haven't uh, the faintest idea, and I think uh, no present knows either or two do dozen hired killers would have already begun a manhunt for this Fidelio, wherever they might be hiding this after all is a significant inheritance. And the other claims are not exactly uh, claimants are not exactly pleased by it. I can see you're intrigued. I must say I am too. Ever since I heard uh, of my friend's dead. Uh, death, I couldn't stop thinking about the mystery of his will. Uh, you have the Valencian name and title, perhaps you can pull more out of the guests than I could. Here is the only clue I got. Dens mentioned the name Fidelio to me only once. It was a long time ago and he was very drunk. He latched onto my rope and said, I hope that these are his exact words. I owe Fidelio, if not for the repentance. Okay, call in all the parties I want to discuss the matter of the will. Uh, Chaplain, I would ask the esteemed guest to stay a moment longer. I was going to announce Den's last will and the testament after he was delivered into the flames, but the circumstances dictate otherwise. Mm. 
Ma Master or Mr. Fidelio, if you're here now, come forth and claim your inheritance. Minute passes, uh, passes, the guests fidget nervously, but your words are met with nothing but silence. The mysterious air still hasn't revealed themselves. Frankly, I'm beginning to sus uh, suspect that this Fidelio from the will is just one of Dan's jokes. A stunt like this could, would be right up his alley. I imagine he'd be ecstatic uh, if everybody at his funeral were at each other's throat. Uh, still, the decision is yet to be made. We have money, but we don't have an heir. What should be done with the inheritance? Hmm, we can t t take it or uh, we can give it to Cas Bellaro or uh, to Dagen, the guy who invited us. I think Dagen can give us a little bit. Uh, the inheritance could give us money, but Dagen could give us. Um, could give us. Connection. All right, the name on the will is Fidelio, but all his life Dan's uh, spat on laws. I think he'd under understand. Much obliged, good things. There are still decent people in this world, not just useless dregs like Cass here. All right, Chaplain, I imagine the uh, crematorium has got the furnace up and running already, but I feel it would be kind of sad to just shove Dan's uh, in like that. He was known as Jerry Candance and would have loved having his enemies drenched uh, in Prometheum and burned. I think it would be a nice gesture to send him the way in the same fashion. All right. They are burning him with petrol. <laughs> and flamer. The world trembles beneath my feet. Good, I hope that we're something. getting a little bit of uh, loot for that. There were uh, five fellowship and ten commerce. There are as dogmatic uh, adherents or above. Uh, adherents or above. Their law imperium will depend on their fellowship. Uh, that's not really that you good for are us. In the presence of House Orcelio. Hmm. It's okay. It's better than nothing. We'll get five fellowship. It is my destiny to traverse the unknown. All right. Interesting little turn of events let's seize the opportunity they said something about a space furnace but it seems like we're Embrace not going to be able to find that power. compared to naval service that was barely a challenge All right, so far we lost money and uncover my path. we gave it to another pirate. Well, who knows? Maybe good things will happen from it. Intriguing.
Okay, we've pretty much gotten the all of this. Trembles beneath my feet. Uh, which brings us uh, to the Liege Palace. Good. Vladam Torker, the Liege, my patience. You remember the way out. Dismissed. Vladaim. 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 What are the put uh, such hard words into your mouth? You talk like an imperial clerk, not, not like one of us. Where is my cargo, Vladim? Falco has it, doesn't he? So that's how you do business with your old friends these days. You don't remember? Then I will help you to remind you. Guards, escort her out. Jay? Get going while he's letting you. Go drown your sorrows at the Amascus and thank your lucky stars you will be able to work out, uh, walk out that door. You won't get the chance next time. First an insult and now threats. I see courtesy as intact is no longer a valued commodity on footfall. Oh well, I'll find myself a better deal. She's in the bar. We can, I think, follow up with that. Vladim to uh, Tokara, Liege of Footfall. Let us please proceed to my office. And uh, a spread befitting a visitor of your rank is waiting. Your entourage will uh, be accommodated uh, nearby. Certainly. Let's go. Whilst you are engaged in small talk, you get a chance to take a measure of Liege, uh, Liege uh, Tokara. His expression is aloof and focused, his gesture is curt and firm, and his speech is calm and quiet, as though he is used to people always listening to what he says. Judging by his own observant gaze, he has been studying you in turn the whole time. Let's talk business. On behalf of the elite of Footfall Station, I offer you my cordologians, Lord Van Valencius. We mourn Lady Theodora's loss and we hope the sentiment is taken in a sign of good intention and willingness to cooperate. It indeed was a terrible loss. I hope under your guidance the dynasty can recover from this blow and attain even greater power. It was a bold move on your part to announce yourself as the new rogue trader von Valen uh, Valencia's dynasty, despite uh, not having your status confirmed by anyone of important from the Imperium. I appreciate such traits in people. It's good to understand whom you're dealing with. As you may have noticed, Footfall is currently in a state of crisis. Its people uh, would benefit from patronage and a figure like yourself. What's the situation? Troubling. Xenos raids are growing more frequently, trade are suffering, and fringe worlds are under attack. Rumors of atrocities uh, being committed by the enemies of humanity are causing excessive panic due to their exotic nature. The core of the Imperium forces in the Coronos Expanse has uh, departed from the sector borders to combat Xenos threats. There has been no word from them uh, for a while now. Then again, with the distance and the current issues uh, with the astropath is not entirely unordinary. Still, we're not yet alone. From several worlds hit by Xenos attacks, we have retrieved reports of, fight, uh, of fierce warriors who uh, descended from the sky and entered the fray. Uh, the fragment account leads me to believe that the blessed Adeptus Estaris are operating in the Coronus Expanse, and I will be awaiting uh, their victory, uh, victories in great anticipation. Have there been any uh, attacks here in Footfall? No, there haven't been. Attacking Footfall is generally not a particularly reasonable thing to do. Many ships are docked here and at any given time, and even listed weapons on board would make uh, would uh, would make for a decent fighting force. And that's not even to mention the firepower that our esteemed merchants have shamefully hidden from the station's customs officials. Uh, for us, Xenos are more a source of income than a threat. Okay, um... We're 
going with Iconoclast for a bit. Uh, Dogmatic isn't bad either. Now nah, let's stick with the Dogmatic. You should consider your words more carefully. Uh, this is close to heresy. Who was the woman uh, that you threw out? A dead a woman walking. Some, however, still call her Jay Haydari. A small time hustler with big ambitions that will lead her to a sticky end. Uh, it's strange, a small time hustler, even particular uh, more audacious one, would likely quarrel in the public with a figure as important as the leech of footfall. What seems to be stranger is that the leech knows uh, the small fry by name. Alright, I was attacked at the docks. An outrageous stunt shows of disrespect for you and me. Many consider footfall uh, to be a pirate den, but believe me when I say that there is a difference between organized crime and gangs and thugs who have nothing to lose. Behind the carefully built facade of composure you sense anger. It appears that the man is not used to losing control, but that's exactly what is happening. I would like to know more about the Andrews King. Why haven't they been dealt with? I've been using all of my resources to delay the moment when the station is hit by famine. I haven't gotten around to the Andrews yet. As detrimental as they are, they are not, pl uh, they are not players. When their leader dies, the rest will uh, mm, will scatter. Um. The neglectance of which you do business is insulting for an individual of my state, you know. I'm sorry for the loss of your assistance. Yeah, he said he her loss was a regrettable de uh, development. What sort of patronage do you seek from me? Protection, not military protection, but with a different kind of security. You have, of course, already um, encountered difficulties with the warp navigation here. Reports of disrupted routes have uh, and ships vanishing during short jumps are coming from across the sector. Communicate with the Calix sector has been extremely unstable. Our ships have been uh, dived into the more of recent years, none have returned. You've heard periods of warp instability, including cases where the moor would have become completely inaccessible for navigations for years and thus temporarily cutting off the Coronas expanse from the Imperium. Even th uh, so, Vladimir's words aren't particularly alarming. It seems something has a profound effect on the moor. And this brings us to the main issue. Footfall is a repair shipyard and a trading post. We barely produce anything ourselves and largely depend on incoming shipments, especially food shipments. The station naturally has some reserves. Footfall would be obliged if the House of um, Valencius would assist us by signing a contract for food deliveries. Can't be the only one. Uh, I can't be the only one you've asked for help. Naturally, I've tried contacting other rogue traders, but the terms of House Chorder would have bled footfall dry. Instead of um, foot shipments, I received transport the, uh, the Navikia, packaged with refugees. Uh, I've sent them to Foulstone. So many other mouths to feed would have uh, worsened the crisis even further. So footfall is cut off from all shipments, the local gangs are running wild and the local hustlers are throwing a tantrum in your residence. Are you positive that you are in control of the situation? You are very perceptive. Well now you know what you're buying, the situation is difficult, but should you decide to offer your support, you will forget about the existence of trading hubs other than footfall because you won't have any more loyal friends anywhere. So what are the terms? It's simple, delivery of food shipments from your fertile worlds. I'm quite familiar with the jewel um, in exchange for fair payment. All right. <laughs> the payment will be unfair as I will be robbing you blind. Or do you remain in charge? Do we have a deal? Nah, we're just giving him the foot shipments. 
immensely obliged, your lordship. I assume you're going to need time for the shipments up and running. I can't wait. On my end, I promise you complete cooperation with your endeavors. What's happening in the Shadow Quarters? All that, who knows? Could be an actual em epidemic. We're on a space station. Best solution here is to isolate it. I wish to help the people in the quarantine zone. I have some questions about footfall. What oath are you referring to? There is a certain custom in footfall. Any rogue trader who arrives at the station docks is considered to be an absolute ruler. And the Liege, uh, their loyal servant. That makes me your servant. Uh, right, I won't have reused that right. And I, in turn, will remember your gracious attitude. And remember when esteemed Caligus Winterscale returns to discover that Footfall is no longer under his patronage. He will be displeased upon finding his uh, demise encroached upon. We'll try to get it back. And Caligus Winterscale's displeasure is a very, very hazardous phenomenon. A fight between two rogue traders will ensue, and as ridiculous as it might sound, the outcome will most likely depend on the allegiance of the station's humble liege. Okay, who holds uh, the reins of the Xeno trade? Caligaria Mission, a criminal syndicate that has seized control of uh, the entity of the cold trade in the sector. Xeno's creations are in high demand. Uh, okay. Opposing to their commercial interests is a lot more dangerous than using their merchandise. But I'm not intimidated. Obviously, obviously I do everything in my power to keep them away from footfall. Very good. We are down to 18 profit factor. Which kind of stinks. In the meantime, what do we have? Jewelry? Yes. I can see we need 6,000 in order to, uh, to even trade this up. So, nah, no. That's not happening, but we can buy whatever he accept, uh, offers us for now. We have a stop revolver with an absolute abysmal range, but burst fire. And a couple of medkits, so yeah. No great equipment, with the exception of the medkits. They are, of course, always good. Let's seize the opportunity. Hmm. I wonder if I could have gotten more profit factor. If I would have just quite literally taken uh, uh, taken uh, him out, I tread a path unexplored. Lord Captain, I'm pleased to report that the inspections have been completed and all the identified system failures have been resolved. Your void ship is ready to depart. Crew is waiting for further instructions and there are also a number of issues that need to be addressed. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Have we discussed everything with the Liege here? Yes, it seems that that is the case. The world trembles beneath my feet.
I'd be curious to go and get that female again. Uh, to me, she looked like someone who we, who, uh, we could maybe recruit. Hmm. Find the stranger. Uh, service school, footfall, hmm. Dog Alpha Row. Okay. A service school at footfall's dog delivered a strange invitation to the Lord Captain, inviting him to a meeting about something called Contract Logisticar Theta. And then we do have the companion uh, quest. All right, Bastion Corda. A well-groomed young man calls out to his clean-shaven, dressed in clothes. Your Lordship, I humbly ask for a minute. I'm Bastion uh, Bastal Corda, young cousin of House Corda. Uh, okay. Corda, hmm? There are some sort of influential rogue traders in the Coranus expanse, but not on foot for the stations under control of House Winter Scale. Something tells me that we're about to hear the most curious offer. A matter of utmost delicacy. Uh, you see, you've been in the, res uh, the residence of the Liege. Uh, Vladam almost certainly appealed to you for assistance in the arrangement of shipments for footfall. Uh, the von Valencia's protectorat is famed for the abundance of agri world Janos. Would have been odd for him not to seize the opportunity when footfall is on the verge of famine. However, uh, the Quarter Dynasty pursues its own interest in footfall. We have already announced the terms for Liege, but he's stalling. The cooperation would be preferable for both road trader houses. If you refuse Vladadem, therefore forcing him to agree to deal with us, uh, we could share the profits. Hmm. They're coming, brothers of the ones who came before. I just don't get it. Do they all have a death wish? What's the... What is the terms? Not at all. Would you like uh, to take these negotiations suitable? Well... So the much for that idea. Amuses me. Ban none of them. Okay, let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Abelard. Oh, we got some, some more friends over here. I see. Well, maybe Abelard goes to here then. This time I won't be making the same mistake. Could move over here and then shoot down. I suppose. All right, we got you. Let's go. Aggressive zone. Right over there. Defensive zone. Heavy is the 
that we're uh, moving all the way back there. Um... Scanning those three. And let's hit them. Mm. Chef Kiss. <coughs> we're taking a perfect spot position and we're good to go. You know what? Sure, let's just shout them to death. I like that. Anything else? And apparently there is almost no veil oh. that is being created here. Time to slaughter some! Deeds is worthless. All right, let's go. Good. We're building up these nice little versatility stacks. As the Emperor commands, I act. And we're doing quite okay, well for ourselves. <laughs> I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Fabulous hit. Lovely. Who's the boss here? At your back and call. It will be done. Yeah, we're just staying here. What does uh, our what does our drug do? Hmm. Sure. Ready. Let's test that. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. The guard just F that up. Yeah, we can't hit that far. Which means we're going to pick out our sniper rifle and we're going to do the classical way. Which is hit the enemy snipers if humanly possible. This he looks good. All right, shot number one. Of course, dodged. I need no guidance. 
And why I didn't want to move there. All right, need to hand over an action to Saiken. Step aside. The navigator is coming. If I may. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Ravage and Good. conquer. Much, much better. I don't want to stand in the open. Purpose guides me. That's the third time that we're missing. One step closer. Here we go. I'll do what you've got. Oh, this is a perfect position there. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Pascal, what are we going to do with you? I like where we're standing. I don't like our overall position though. That's going to be a fantastic hit. Running by Neric Override. My vow is to serve. Big fat plasma. <laughs> Almost got him down. Hmm. Can we move back? No, we cannot move back. Well, might as well give everybody a little buff. Fantastic, that was good. That was very good. But of course. Uh, not sure why we have lost so many hit points on that left hand side. Let me tend to your wounds. Integrity factor increase. Good move to here. But I think we're just going to stay back here. Doubt is for the weak. Fantastic, good hit. Lovely. Army Max. Fabulous. 
running over there. Um, you two guys definitely Victory want to attack me. And Avalar gets a few more hit points. Two for one, lovely. Uh, we're not yet using the firearm heroic. This is beneath me. Cassia. I am a navigator, not a servitor. that were possible gives a stat boost to Argenta Isn't and so over an action I won't waste my time on that Saiken so takes a kill and unfortunately we're out of ammo So who could benefit from a full turn? You know, it could be Pascal, because why not? I shall prevail. damaging ourselves with that I see how it is that's where the damage is coming from from the overload of our plasma uh, gun Can't even throw a flashbang that far. That's really unfortunate. Request denied. The Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. Yeah, well, a little bit of a wasted ultimate. Pascal moves over. Let's try to hit this guy there. Answer is no. Good. Uh, Anything else? Continues to mark all of them.
As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. We missed two times. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. At your beck and call. Indeed. At your beck and call. All right, we're bracing for impact. Oh, my ears to slaughter someone. I will triumph. I can see the disadvantage of the sniper now. This uh, sniper only has five shots and requires a lot of reload. That's unfortunate. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Advancing. enough ammunition well might just take the normal shot I don't know where that guard is running but certainly not into the melee where our guard is Kill this guy. 50 50 missed. We'll do. They who discern the future own the battlefield. On it. Fantastic. Idiria still punches way buffer weight uh, way class. Let's make it quick. Uh, just a minor setback. Doubt is for the weak. Each is a prayer. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Right, too bad we're not hitting them very well. It will be done. But in our defense, At your back and this call. guy now goes down. <laughs> you could flee, but you Let's cannot get, get that far away. Eight percent, really. No, others guides me. And let's try that again. Wow. Be careful not to cross my gaze. I'm a navigator, not a servitor. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Heavy is the tread of his faithful. The scriptural prognosis is favorable.
I'm afraid not. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. This guy must have a huge dodge. Wait, what? He just ran away? So, wow. Had a super good sniper, completely got on my nerves and then ran away. Fantastic. Note font of the bodies of the Everest leader is mentioned, Sector 2. Find out more about this strange gang. We shall do exactly that. And we got ourselves a heavy plate here. A casing chest plate. Uh, seems like a very basic chest plate. Yeah, unfortunately worse than ours. That melee weapon, on the other hand, is pretty damn good. 10 to 16. One-handed. Yeah, well, we don't have any options uh, to use it. Let's just refill. Let's just refill our consumables here. It's always used a couple of med kits. All right, I'll do the leveling up, but I'll do that off uh, screen. Nothing important is going to happen there. And next time when we're continuing, I will definitely try to find uh, what these guys are about because I am sick and tired of getting continuously and always ambushed. This is just getting an old trope at this point. Uh, wherever we go, someone is unhappy and therefore like, just wants to throw their life away whilst charging into us. Anyways, that was a pretty decent massacre. Thanks a lot for watching. See you all in the next episode and have a good one. Bye-bye.